Hey yo, what it do? It's your boy J Lou, and you are just in time for something new. All right, now in this video, what I wanted to do is basically go behind the scenes and show you guys what I do to make the oils. A lot of people may be concerned, like Jay Lou, man, why are you doing this when you know people be copying you, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. At the end of the day, people only copy success, you know. So uh, it, for me, I look at it like I used to chip off of it because. When, you, when you're trying to grow and you're trying to build something and somebody steal, steals or copies your stuff, you're going to feel some type of way about it. That's just human nature. But uh, moving forward, I don't care about this stuff anymore because it's, it's going to continue to happen. That only lets me know that anybody that's copying and following what I'm doing, they're only doing it because I'm doing it better than them. You know what I'm saying? So when it comes to making every single bottle, I'm going to get into the details about how I make everything. Just to show you guys, because I know a lot of people follow the channel for inspiration, for knowledge and things of that nature. So with that being said, let's get into the process. Now, with every single bottle that you guys receive, one of the reasons why I held off on making this video is simply because uh, the labels that I originally got, they came in the wrong way. And the machine that I used to basically apply the labels by hand, uh, I could not use the labels within that machine and it does not allow me to, to, to put the labels on there on every single bottle. But the reason why I say that is because every single bottle is hand wrapped by your boy J. Lou. I was like, man, you know what? I'm not going to throw these labels away. I'm going to still use them. If you receive a label and it may be slightly crooked, <laughs> at the end of the day, I apologize for that. But I wanted to let you guys know that that's the reason why. Because I know that there's a lot of people that they be looking for the stupidest stuff to criticize me on. You know what I'm saying? The next thing in the process is once I get all of these bottles wrapped, I have to mix the oil. Now, when it comes to mixing the oils, I didn't want to just offer you guys the best ingredients. I also wanted to make sure that you wouldn't have any issues by using the product or storing the product, right? So what I did was I reached out to my friend who happens to be a chemist and I asked him, Hey, can you uh, basically run some tests on these things and tell me what is the solubility? Do I have any solubility issues? Also, uh, will I have to worry about separation? You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's, it's a lot of things that people don't consider when it comes to making products. And there's so many people that they're just trying to make products nowadays just for the profit. And I'm like, you guys are just you're skipping over the steps that's essential. These products go on people's head. They go on people's skin. They go on people's uh, scalp and all that stuff like that. You know, and people get mad at me when I tell them I'm not going to review your product just simply because you made it. And a lot of times people say, Oh, I'm testing this out. Can you test it? I'm not going to be nobody guinea pig. I sent my stuff to the lab to make sure that it was essential and proper before I presented it to the market. You know what I'm saying? That's why I knew what I had was good. And that's another reason why I call it Texas Tea because once I got it back, before I even came up with the name and I started using it, I was like, yo, man, I, I've struck liquid gold with this joint. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so once I mix the oils, you guys will not have to worry about any issues of separation. You won't have to worry about solubility issues. That, that basically means how well the ingredients blend with each other. You know what I'm saying? And do they stick with each other or do they eventually separate? All of that stuff This is very important because there are certain people that will sell you products. And because they don't care about that, if you leave the product within the shelf for a certain time frame, it will separate and you will be able to see it. But even if it's not for a, a, a long time frame, you guys don't know if they don't have it on the label that you have to shake the product every single time that you use it, then you will be using ineffective products and thinking like, man, I've been using this product for so long. And then you think that, oh, I got to switch my product out. No, you don't. It's just the fact that the, the person that made it didn't take the time necessary to, to do what was necessary, right? I mixed the oils by hand. I'm not going to show you guys the that process because that'll be stupid of me giving you guys my formula and things of that nature, right? But at the same time, once I mix it, uh, a lot of people, when I first came out the gate, I had this one dude trying to criticize me talking about, oh man, the oil bottles are separate, the levels are different, man, I'm not spending my money on that, blah, blah, blah. What people didn't know is I actually have a machine that properly levels every single bottle. I, I put the money to buy this machine to make sure I properly level every single bottle with at least two ounces, right? And then, because I give you guys the option of a fragrance as well as essential oils, if I add the essential oils to it, it's gonna raise that level up a little bit. And then if I add the fragrance oils, it's gonna raise it up a little bit more. So I'm not surprised that whenever I first posted the, the product, I had these guys criticizing my product. You know what I'm saying? They was criticizing, they was looking for the littlest things, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but 
I just wanted to let you guys this, let you guys know that that's the process. Uh, the machine is automated, so everybody will get two ounces when it comes to the product and, and stuff of that nature. Now, the reason why I chose to use glass is because a lot of times when it comes to products, people typically go with the cheaper route of using plastic. But sometimes the toxins or the, the chemicals in plastics can leach into the product. And I didn't want to go down that route. At the same time, I wanted to use the amber bottles first because the amber bottles are the strongest when it comes to UV protection. The amber bottles are also the cheaper ones, but the new bottles that I'm using are the cobalt bottles, which are blue bottles, basically. You know what I'm saying? They're a lot more expensive than the amber bottles, but at the end of the day, I wanted to go down that route because I wanted to give you guys quality. Even with my label, uh, you get this, this product is ready for the shelves if I wanted to put it in the shelves, but I'm not trying to rush my product. So once I mix all the oils and I, I pour all the bottles, then I have to top every single bottle off and, and basically put uh, store them by putting the dropper tops on it and on it and everything of that nature. You know what I'm saying? I have two different machines where one machine allows me to fill it up with the essential oils so I can make the whole blend of the Texas tea with essential oils and I can use that machine solely, solely just so that it would fill all the bottles with Texas tea essential oils. Then I have a separate machine that it never comes in contact with essential oils because the main reason why I decided to take that step is because some people that may have eczema or whatever the case is, if you come in contact with essential oils, it will irritate your skin and your scalp a lot more. And I didn't want people that wanted to use my product, but that's one thing that you guys probably don't know. Uh, if they wanted to just use the one with the carrier oils by themselves. I didn't want them to have that contamination issue. You know what I'm saying? So that's another thing when it comes to making a product that I wanted to do. Now, the last thing is whenever I get all these bottles filled up and I get the ingredients and all that stuff proper, what I have to do is I have to print off all the labels. I have to uh, package them and everything as well. The, the last step that I wanted to do to set my product apart is the fact that before you get your bottle and before you open it, I wanted you to know that I was the last person that touched it. The main reason why I say this is because uh, initially when I would send out my, my oils, sometimes people would complain about the uh, label, the, the, the packaging being opened or whatever. And I didn't want people to be concerned that for whatever reason, somebody probably opened the oil. So the last thing that I do is I seal every single bottle so you guys will know that it's fresh. You know what I'm saying? And with that being said, you don't have to worry about whether or not somebody opened it up or if it spilled or anything of that nature. You know, so with that being said, that's the behind the scenes process of, of how I make every single bottle of Texas tea. I will make a video in the future in regards to the reason why I decided to finally make my product because people have been criticizing me about that as well. A whole bunch of just, I don't care about the criticism because I'm the type of person, I believe in being honest and transparent. So when people try to criticize me, it just makes me better, but I don't ignore it at the same time. And I choose to address what I, what I choose to address. I wanted to make this video more so to help encourage you guys and to make people step their game up when it comes to making products. Because man, you guys really don't understand, but on the behind the scenes stuff, there's a lot of people that are selling you bathroom brew stuff that they just figured out on their own. And it's just like, that may be okay to start off with, but it's just like, I look at it, if you are putting something on your skin or your scalp and you haven't got it tested or approved or anything of that nature, that's one reason why I turn people products down. So with that being said, if you have any questions, make sure you leave them down in the comment section below. I'll make sure I try to get to them or probably even answer them in the, in the reason why I made the Texas tea, te Texas tea oil. But I will be dropping a, a smaller video just in regards to um, just, just kind of like what to do, what to know about using it and things of that nature. So with that being said, it's your boy J. Lou. I wanted to say I hope you guys have a great day and salute. Now ever since I could remember, I've been brushing my hair, brushing, brushing my hair, brushing, brushing my hair. Now ever since I could remember, I've been working so hard, and it better be some waves in my head. Now ever since I could remember, I've been brushing my hair, brushing, brushing my hair, brushing, brushing my.